The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is underway, which can mean only one thing. The Internet Hive Mind Industrial Complex is back to its old tricks, pumping out a stream of brand new theories about where this could all be going. And can you blame us? We're only two episodes in, but already the new Disney Plus show has dropped some major Marvel Universe Easter eggs, and they're far too enticing to be dismissed as mere fan service. In this video, we're going to explore how the show might be sowing the seeds of none other than the Young Avengers. Avengers, huh? and what that could mean for the MCU going forward. Okay, first things first. Stop the car! When we say Young Avengers, we're not just talking about the younger versions of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. This ain't gonna be Tony Stark the high school years. Though we wouldn't be surprised if someone had already pitched that. Hmm. Is that weird? <laughs> hey, if they haven't, uh, Marvel, call us. Anyway, no, the Young Avengers were a unique superhero team in their own right, although some of them were connected to other established heroes, either through blood or just through having similar skill sets. Created by Alan Heinberg and Jim Chung, they first came together in the wake of the Avengers disassembled comic storyline, which concluded in 2005 and later appeared in high-profile crossovers like Civil War. They were effectively a bunch of youthful superpower tearaways, kind of dysfunctional, trying to fight bad guys behind their parents' backs while also dealing with their own interpersonal issues. The team included Scott Lang's daughter Cassandra, Kate Bishop, America Chavez, Hulkling, and Iron Lad, aka Nathaniel Richards, aka King the Conqueror. Well, he, he would grow up to be King the Conqueror in the future. Look, comics are really weird. We don't know what else to tell you. Oh, and the group also featured a character known as Patriot. And that's where things start to get interesting. In episode two of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Bucky takes Sam to visit a man he encountered long ago during the Korean War. It turns out that this man, Isaiah Bradley, was another U.S. government super soldier like Captain America. In fact, he was often known by that very title in the comics. However, being a man of color, it seems that he was treated somewhat differently from blonde, blue-eyed Steve Rogers. We don't spend a lot of time with Isaiah in the episode, just enough to get a sense of the pain and frustration he has had to live with due to his raw treatment by the government. And we spend even less time with his watchful grandson, who seems to be looking after him, vetting whoever comes through the front door. But eagle-eyed Marvel fans will know that said grandson is Elijah Bradley, the real name of the Young Avengers Patriot. Now, you could say this is just an Easter egg for hardcore fans, but we're not so sure. Think about the increasingly sympathetic portrayal of the Flag Smashers and the fact that they all seem pretty young. Consider the show's heavy focus on legacy and passing on the torch of heroic responsibility to new generations. One people. One war. One people. When you take all that into account, it feels very much like the show is laying both the thematic and character groundwork for the future of the Marvel Universe. Of course, the likes of Sam Wilson, Scarlet Witch, and Doctor Strange are all very much in their world-saving prime. Marvel always has at least half an eye on what's coming next, and it stands to reason that they're going to start sowing the seeds of new, younger heroes. And while we hope that we will see some more of Isaiah Bradley and get some sense of closure for him, if Marvel wants to continue to explore the complex intersection of race and superheroics, it would make a lot of sense to do it through Eli. In the comics, Patriot has a real chip on his shoulder about wanting to live up to his legendary grandpa leading to all sorts of super soldier serum shenanigans. So why introduce a character with such rich potential as just a throwaway Easter egg? And it doesn't stop there. We already mentioned some of the other members of the Young Avengers, namely Cassie Lang, Kate Bishop, and America Chavez. Well, we've already seen Cassie Lang in the Ant-Man movies and Avengers Endgame as both a child and a grown woman. Kate Bishop, aka Hawkeye, is about to appear in her very own Disney Plus series. America Chavez is going to make her debut in Sam Raimi's forthcoming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Are you expecting us to say, it doesn't stop there again? Well, 
You're correct, it absolutely does not stop there. I have a plan. Really? Because the Young Avengers comics lineup also includes two characters called Speed and Wiccan, aka Tommy and Billy, aka the twin sons of Scarlet Witch and Vision. You may remember them from a little show called WandaVision. My head feels weird. Now, of course, those two adorable kids kind of cease to exist. Or did they? The final episode's post credit scene suggested that they might still be around somewhere, and we're willing to bet that Wanda Maximoff's next move will be to try and rescue them. So, Eli Bradley, Cassie Lang, Kate Bishop, America Chavez, Tommy, Billy, that's six members of the Young Avengers who we've either seen or are about to see. Coincidence? Yeah, yeah sure. Kevin Feige is just making it all up as he goes along. Okay, if you're still here, we're going to level with you. All this Young Avengers stuff, it's fun, but it's just a smokescreen. A diversion to hide Marvel's true master plan. They're really setting up A-Babies versus X-Babies. You heard it here first. 